Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we will be going to learn how to edit using Snapseed. This video is useful for those who post pictures or captures in the social media very frequently and also want to increase the quality of their posts. Snapseed is one of the best and most used mobile editing apps. We have also done a video on top 5 mobile editing apps. If you have not watched the video, don't worry, I will leave the i button on the top as well as the link in the description below. Ok, we have decided to make 5 videos about Snapseed that concentrate on 5 different topics and in this video, we will be looking at the basics of Snapseed. And by the time if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to click the bell icon. Without taking much time, let's get started. There are 3 most basic options in Snapseed. They are Styles, Tools and export. Let us start with the styles. Many basic presets are available in Snapseed. Choose the one which you feel that makes the picture more beautiful than before. If you want, you can also customize your own presets. You can do that by clicking on the plus icon. Now let us go to the tool option. We have got many kind of options like tuning the image, details, cropping, perspectives, expand, selective, Brush, Vignette, Smart Healing and HDR Skip. We will be speaking about those tools one by one in short. At first, Tuning. Tuning is to adjust the basic settings for your image like Brightness, Saturation, White Shadows, etc. The next one is the Details. You can increase the sharpness and refine the structure of your image. Your image looks more detailed than before. I'll make a separate video for curve setting. The next one is cropping. You can have a free cropping as well as a predefined aspect ratio cropping. And the next one is perspectives. One of the important feature of Snapseed which becomes very useful for straightening your picture or when you need a perfect angle. And the next feature is to expand. A smart feature that fills out the space when you want to. We also have a selective. It is an awesome feature which helps to adjust the setting only for the selected region. You can adjust the selection circle. The red areas are the selected parts of the picture. And we also have a brush. You can add or reduce exposure, dot some areas, increase saturation by just brushing in the area you want to increase or decrease. We have vignette to add dark filters at the corners. We can also adjust the strength and brightness of the vignette. The next feature is the smart healing. My favorite feature that comes into handy when you want to erase some disturbances from the picture. One can use this feature to erase the thread like this so that the picture looks floating in the air. And the next we have something called HDR scape. This will read the picture and makes the picture more vibrant than before. It is useful to increase the dynamic range as well as the details. I mostly used for taking the picture of landscape. And that's all the basics of Snapseed guys. I'll be posting a separate video for curve adjustments, double exposure, adding text and lens blur in the subsequent videos. So please stay tuned. I hope you got benefited from our previous video. So please do subscribe for the upcoming videos on Snapseed and also for more videos like this. If you have any doubts or if you want to know about anything in detail, please do mention in the below comment section. Thank you.